I remember when I was studying, we would go, forget about the university now, we would go and listen to lectures that began after Maghrib. And you're talking about 6 o'clock, 6.30. They will stop for Isha Salah and go on and on until midnight. And by the thousands, people would gather. Huh? Have you guys seen that in some of the, the, the countries abroad? By the thousands, people would gather. Hot or cold. Intense. And they would listen for hours and hours of the Quran and the reminder and how we should stay on the right path and how we should stay away from wrong things. Interesting, huh? We're in a time nowadays where people can't even spend an hour in the masjid. Here were people who were sitting in villages in open land, hot, cold, different seasons, listening and want to listen to what God Almighty says in the Quran. And for our non Muslim guests, when we say Allah, 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 we mean the God. Allah, the non like him. So you will hear me saying Allah. People would listen to want to know what God says, what Allah says you should do, and what you should stay away from. Right? Nowadays we live in a time, and you know, brothers and sisters, that brings me to a hadith, a saying of the Prophet, peace be upon him. In which the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, go check it out in Bukhari in Muslim. He says, a time will come. A time will come. When Islam. And what does he mean by Islam? He means the message of the Quran. He means what? The message of the Quran. A time will come when the Islam the deen of Islam, the message of the Quran, will be like burning coals in our hands. Oh yeah. Have you ever tried doing a barbecue? And then hold the coals after with your hands? Can you do that? No. The heat will keep you away a distance. A distance. What did he mean by that? That when people think about having to do what god says what allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to do and to not to do it will be like holding burning coals in their hands in our hands because we don't want to do that we don't want to do what god says to do so it's difficult it's like holding burning coals and the things that god says don't do we love it we love it the haram things, the illegal things, the things that are not permissible in Islam. We love it. So when we are told don't do it, we feel that pain. It's like burning coals, not only in our hands, but burning coals in our hearts. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we can't go around condemning the Quran, right? Right, half his Munir said. So you won't condemn the Quran and say, well, the Quran is wrong. The Quran is wrong. What do you do? You condemn the preachers. You hate the sheikhs. You hate the imams. You hate the hufas. You hate the people who bring the message. Someone's here. That's what happens. 